Sword and Shield DLC themes from the Isle of Armor and from the Crown Tundra, which is good and which is bad. I've forgotten pretty much all of them. What we're gonna do is we're gonna listen to them and we're gonna rate them. It's very, very simplistic. Which one will we start with? I don't even know which one to start with. Let's start with Clara. Let's start with Clara. This sounds like a good idea. By the way, I'm using, I don't know if he pronounced it Pokeli or Pokeli, but I'm using his channel because he is a very good source of the music. You're wondering, so here we go. Okay. This is so, like, all over the place. Me of. This reminds me of of the Crash Bash theme. What song is it? What song is it? Pull up hang. No, 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 no. Beach ball. Wait, is it beach ball? Is it one of the is it this one? Oh, I can't remember exactly. This this reminds me of Crash Bash. This is such a weird one. I don't know. Okay, so that is like that's very chaotic. It's very like all over the place. Now, I played when I played, I had Avery as my rival, so I don't actually know much about Clara, so I can't really say much about her character. But it's very chaotic, which I don't know. I don't really vibe with it as a battle theme. Although it may fit the character very well, which is why I feel bad because I didn't play that side of the game. I only played the Avery side of the game, so maybe people can tell me if I'm wrong or not. She is very chaotic. Okay, so assuming that it does fit the character and it reminds me of Crash Bash, which brings back very good nostalgia. I'm not a huge fan of the theme, uh, so it does have a little bit thing, a little bit, little bit something carrying it up there. But I'll put it in C for now because it's very, I'm not a massive fan of the theme as it is, but I think it has some stuff carrying it above the DTS. It's, oh my God, I can't believe that reminded me of Crash Bash. Okay, that was, that was an interesting start. Let's go for Avery next. I remember, I, I, I remember Avery's a dick. Bro, Avery is trying so hard to be Colrus, man. Seriously. I'm gonna be honest, Avery is a dick of a character, but I'm just gonna try and put that to the side a little bit. I really like how he has spoons in his hat. That, that's a really nice little addition. I didn't realize that until now. He has spoons in his hat, which is really nice. Dude, this, this dude is trying so hard to be Colrus. He really is. If this song literally just sounds like someone's hammering on a keyboard on some kind of like synth machine. And I'm not a fan, honestly. Not a fan. And this has nothing to do with Avery as a character. I just didn't like that theme at all. Not, not epic. It's, it's like if you took Colrus' theme and then made it boring and bad. So I'm gonna throw you into D tier. I'm personally, don't think that was ideal. Did not vibe. Vibes were very low. They were, they were like down here when realistically they should be at least up here. The vibe should be at least at the top of my glasses to get a good rating here. So let's see, what do we got next? We got the original mustard battle. Let's see what this is all about, shall we?
Okay, okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna shut up about Crash Bandicoot after this one. But this is literally what I'd expect for like a Crash Bandicoot theme in like one of the original games in like one of those themed levels. That, that it sounds like something you'd pull out of that. But it sounds like a, a normal level theme. I mean, it's as a battle theme, it's not a great battle theme, but as a normal, just as a theme in general, it's super cool. Like, I really like this. I love the vibes. Vibes have reached glasses levels, ladies and gentlemen, and I could not help but watch the battle in, in like the bottom right down here. Man was just trying to use counter on a Mian shell. Like, what are you doing? I got distracted a little bit by that. I'm sorry. But I did enjoy this. I did think that, that was pretty good. This is the that's the no, that's the final battle one. The no, first battle one. I, I I I like that. I think that was a very good, like, initial uh bringing you into the Isle of Armor. Mustard's here. He's like your teacher. You have a fight with him. The the stakes are quite low. I definitely appreciate that. So I, I think I can put that into A tier pretty happily. So let's go on to. I don't want to. I don't want to do the final battle just yet with mustard. I want to do. Oh, did you guys know that Galarian Slowpoke has a, has its own battle theme? I didn't realize that until today. So let's listen to the Galarian Slowpoke battle theme, shall we? Wait. Is this mustard's theme? Wait. This is. This is mustard's theme. This is. This sounds the same. Is this not the same? Am I wrong? Well, listen to it a little bit longer, guys. This is literally the first thing from when you fight Mustard. They have the same thing because they're Mustard's Pokemon. Oh. Oh, I got baited! I got baited! It's the same theme! I got baited! Oh! I got baited. Bait. Baited! Not happy with that one. I can't believe it. They just- I thought there was gonna be a cool new theme going on there. Damn it! Alright, alright, fine. Fine, fine, I got baited. Let's do the dojo students next, then. I can't believe I got baited like that. I'm so mad. <laughs> okay, dojo student for the Tower of Water, which I have not heard before, because I did the Tower of Darkness. All right, I'm pissed. Dojo student does not deserve this at all. This is ridiculous. Why does Dojo student get this vibe? Just listen to it. Doesn't this sound like a... You're at the end of like an 80 hour adventure, like traversing to the top of like Death Mountain to fight like Smaug slash like Shenron slash the, the Majora's Mask Moon. Like that's what it sounds like. You're telling me the Dojo student gets this? Random ass Dojo student who they copy and paste by the way. They literally copy and paste the same student like four times. I'm actually pissed that Dojo student gets this because this is a really cool theme, but it does not fit in being, oh, you played the Isle of Armor for like two hours and now you're trying to evolve your Pokemon. Here, here's a theme for this. I'm, mm, okay, I'm gonna put it in B because I think it's, I think it's, I think it's a good theme, but Dojo student does not deserve this. Listen, listen to me. You do not deserve this. This, this, this kid here, he does not deserve this theme. This sounds like the end of an 80 hour adventure, not like I just want to evolve my Kubfu into something cool looking now, you know? How dare you, Dojo student? Dojo student for, am I getting Skamaz again? Is he just trying to bait another 100,000 views? Is this the same, is it the same one? Tower of Darkness battle music. Is this the same one again? Am I getting baited again? I feel like I'm gonna get baited again. It's the same one again, isn't it? It 
It's literally the same thing. It's literally the same. It's the same exact. It's a little different. This sounds exactly the same. It's different. I, I don't hear a difference. I'm gonna look at the comments. If you listen to the sound carefully, you notice a few differences. The Tower of Darkness has suspenseful vibes, or the Tower of Waters has calm vibes. Oh, really? Let's listen, let's listen. Oh wait, no, this does sound different. No, this this does sound different, actually. Alright, I- th there is like slight differences, it's mostly the same thing, but I have to admit, I do like it better. I- I like it more, I like it more than- than that one. I like it more than the Tower of Waters one, I think it's better. I do think it's better. Alright, now we have the Mustard final battle theme. Let's see. This is starting the same way as the last one. Mustard? Mustard, are you there? This is very... Why does that sound familiar? Doesn't Mustard only have one Pokemon when you fight him like this? Oh no, you fight him twice. Never mind. You fight him twice. All right, that is this. This is sick. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This is sick. I, I when it when it started, I was like, oh no, it's gonna be one of those really slow ones. It's gonna be like a, it's gonna be like an Arceus. It's gonna be one of those really slow themes that I just don't get into, and people get mad at me for not vibing with it. And then they dropped it, and I was like, damn. So I think that that who is it S tier? Is it S tier? Uh, it's either high A or low S tier because I re I did vibe with it. I think that was good. Had a little bit of a weak slow start, but uh, you know what, we'll throw it in S tier, you can always move it later, but uh, right now we'll say like a low S tier. I don't think it was like the tippity top of my music tastes, but I'll throw it in there for now, because it was definitely very good. Okay, on to the Crown Tundra, ladies and gentlemen. Starting off with Peony. Am I playing Super Mario Odyssey?
I don't know. People people might get upset with me for saying this, but I really don't. I, I don't vibe with this one all that much. I, it's like it has some good moments, which is why I'm not going to put it in D tier. It definitely has its good moments, and it it just reminds me so much of that one Super Mario Odyssey world. I think it's like the the big city where there's all the jazz. Uh, I I couldn't get that out of my head. The 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 picture of uh, what's her name Daisy like dancing away at the top of the. The tower. I, I couldn't get that out of my head, but I, I really don't vibe with this all that much. So I'm gonna I'm gonna throw it into C tier because I, it's fine. I can see why people would like this a lot if you like jazz. But I'm gonna be honest, uh, jazz is, it's not my favorite. It's not my favorite. So I'm gonna throw it into C tier. There, I said it. All right. Next up, Calyrex. God, I hate Calyrex, but okay, doesn't matter. Put that over your head, Daniel. Let's listen to Calyrex's battle theme. Ooh, sounds like an XD theme. This is like an XD final battle theme. Like XD or Colosseum, something like that. Like Shadow Lugia. It's very mystical. He doesn't deserve these drums. You know what? This is intimidating. And the fact that you fight this thing and it has like question marks, <laughs> but you still absolutely batter it anyway. Oh. I'm sorry, where did this come from? Is this the same theme? What? what where did that come from? Did they forget the transition? Yeah, putting aside the fact that I think Calyrex sucks, uh, I uh, it's okay. It's it's quite intimidating at the start. I don't know, you know, when that drop happened, it, it didn't even feel like it was a proper drop. There was no like lead up. It just like okay, no, now there's another song. You know, there's the rest of the song, which I wasn't a huge fan of. But when you get into it, it does sound pretty cool. It sounds very intimidating. It sounds quite epic, which you know, a legendary Pokemon theme should sound quite epic. However, it's just there, there was so many parts that kind of fell flat and it felt just very, I don't know, it's uninteresting um, that I, I'm going to throw it into, into C tier. It had some good parts, it had some bad parts. Now, if I was judging it based off the character too, I'd throw it right back down to, uh, I'd put it into baited because I hate color X. But it's, 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 it's a C. It's a C. It's going to be a C for me, guys. It's going to be a C for me. All right, Legend Galarian Birds. Why does that sound like the Ultra Beast opening? Wait, hold, okay, sorry, before we listen to the rest of the song, Pokemon uh, Ultra Sun Ultra Beast theme. They have like a battle theme? No, I must be insane. Uh, I I'm sorry, I'm, I, I must be, I must be uh, absolutely insane, I apologize. What's happening? What happened to the good part? There it is. It's 
See, I like this bit. I really like this bit, but then it and then it like takes it away from you. I don't know. It, okay, 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 okay. So it had some bits I really liked, and then it had, and then it just like took it away, like it, like yoinked it away, like I'm bloody Oliver Twist, and I'm not allowed any more porridge. Like, please, sir, can I have some more? Um, so I'm gonna put that into tier because, like I said, it had really good bits, and I was like, wow, this is fantastic. And then it was like, okay, now we're gonna take it away and just like throw in some random stuff in the middle because it's whatever. Each part is a different bird. Well, I like one of the birds, and I don't like the other two birds. Or maybe I like two of the birds and I don't like the one of the birds. Either way, it, it'll be a low A because of the, 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 the detractionary parts that make it not as cool to listen to. Anyway, on to the next one, Legendary Titans. Oh, I already know. I already know I'm gonna like this one. Uh, it, dude, it's a Reggie theme. Oh, wait, what? Oh, this is, okay. Oh yeah, this is different. This is very different. Dude, this just sounds so ancient and ominous. I wish the Reggies were actually like better Pokemon. I really do. Because let's be honest, the Reggie, Reggie Rock, they, they, they all kind of suck. Let's, let's be honest. Okay, so I think I prefer the original Reggie themes from Ruby and Sapphire, from Oras, uh, a little bit more to this. I still think this is good. It just, like, it changed up in, like, tiny little ways that made me just not like it as much. So I'd probably put this below the Galarian Birds. I still think the Reggie theme as a whole is, like, a one of the best legendary themes in the Pokemon franchise. I think it's fantastic. Um, but, dude, I just wish the Reggies were better mons. The Reggies are just bad mons. And anyone, look, I see people saying C tier. I'm like, you must be capping, surely. Absolutely not C tier. Definitely an A. I, I, I put it in like low A, personally. But anyway, let's see. On to the next one. Oh yeah, Shadow Mia. Shadow Mia theme. Shadow Mia theme. Dude, they love their drums in this, I swear, God. Like, they are such a big fan of their drums in this game. Like, Gen 3 had horns, this game has drums. All right, I'm gonna be honest, I don't really vibe too heavily with this. I don't really vibe too heavily with this at all, but when I put it into context, so this is what happens when the horse comes to like destroy the village or something like that, and you have to get like carrots to to lure it in. I don't know, it, 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 I feel like it just doesn't 
it doesn't go well with the, with the situation at hand. But if we're taking a theme entirely by itself, I still really don't like it all that much. I, I There's something about it. Like, it's trying to be very ominous and intimidating, but it just doesn't hit that mark all that well. It, it's definitely trying to. It has like the, the, the deep notes, the heavy drums, the, the, the horn in the background. But I don't know. It just, it doesn't hit it. it it's, I feel like it's trying too hard to be intimidating when it's a horse. Um, not a huge fan of that one. But it was better than Avery's, I will say. It was, it was, well, was it better than Avery's? It was better than Avery's. I'll say it's better than Avery's. All right, and then we have Dynamax Legendary Battles, which I have listened to far too much in my quest for a shiny top of Lele. But let's put that to the side for now and give this a proper listen. Wait, here it comes. Okay, so this team has a few things going for it. First off, it has like the ominous Dynamaxing. The, the, uh, the idea that you're facing down something incredibly large, foreboding, and powerful. It has that and it instills that that slight fear of like, oh my god, I'm gonna get shlonged right now. And then secondly, it has the da 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 because you're there, you're having fun with your friends, and it's a group a thing that you're doing together, and maybe you can overcome it because, you know, power of friendship. Like, at least that's how it sounds to me. You're really bad as you're reading too much into it. That's how it sounds to me. Also, I do think that this is a very cool version of, uh, it's, it's a very nice, like, version of the original Dynamax raid battle, and I think it's like a testament to the theme that even though I've listened to this probably upwards of like 200 times now, I'm still not tired of it and I still think it's good. Even though I have listened to this theme so much and it has caused so much disappointment, I still like it. So I think that's also a testament to the theme too. It has a lot of stuff going for it. I think it's a really good one. I think it's very good. That I think a lot of people will be tired of it by now. People are like, really, you're putting that in the highest tier? Because, you know, they've done so many Dynamax adventures that they're just like sick of the, the sound of it. But I think it's really good. That The fact that I still, I still <laughs> think it's a good theme. Even though we've listened to it so many times. But anyway, the last one, Calyrex Final Battle. Let's see. Calyrex is kind of sucked. Shadow Mia is kind of sucked. If you combine two suck, do you get a good? Let's find out.
The answer is yes, chat. If you combine two suck, you do get a good. The horns there are still, I mean, I, I know they're from the original Calyrex theme, from the original Spec Shadow Mia theme, uh, and things like that. It, it, it does it does sound regal, uh, Pika Trainer. I do agree with that. And like the 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 like in the background uh keeps up like the suspense uh, and the flow of the song where the horns come in to to bring in like the the heavy lifting of the i'm very bad at describing things like this but it brings in the heavy lifting of the oh yeah there you go if that makes sense so yeah i i i i, I like that i think that's a vast improvement actually in fact i i put that just below the reggie themes that is a a low atf for me and that is the sword and shield dlc themes my opinions on them all do you have a different opinion let me know do you have a different opinion? Then you can do so. That's totally fine. So my favorites are the Dynamax Legendary, then a final battle with Mustard. Then we have the normal battle with Mustard. We have Galarian Birds. We have the legendary Titans, Cataracts. By the way, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. I know you're about to leave the video. Subscribe to the channel. Don't leave without subscribing, please. I want to see you back in the future. You might have forgotten to subscribe so far, but sub to me. Thank you very much on YouTube. Uh, then we have Dojo Student and Dojo Student, both of which are pretty decent. I, I kind of thought they were copies and pastes of each other, but I did like the Darkness one a little bit more. Then we had Cl Lara, who was all over the place, very chaotic. Penny, who had the jazz, but I wasn't a huge fan of the jazz. Calyrex, just... Calyrex is Calyrex, I suppose. We had the horses, which is... My horse is amazing, but my horse's theme isn't that amazing. And then we had Avery. Who, who cares about Avery? And then I got baited by Slowpoke. Absolutely baited. I can't believe that. But anyway, that is the theme tier list. I hope you did enjoy this. If you did, please do destroy that like button right below this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one! Goodbye. Thank you so much to our Twitch subs and YouTube members of the day. Remember, if you are a YouTube member or a Twitch subscriber, that both gives you access to the sub Discord. And I appreciate you supporting the channel. Thank you so much, guys.